Another huge question on social media this morning is, of course, you know, with your past on Nickelodeon, on that hit show, a Drake and Josh reboot. I know it's something that you're totally open for. You've all, you've done sort of, um, if you will, incarnations of it with the Where's Walter yeah, on your yeah. YouTube. If you go on YouTube, check out Where's Walter. If you're Drake and Josh fans, you will totally dig that. We kind of go a bit meta and go out. We kind of go out there. So it's, yeah. it's a lot of fun. But what, how do you feel about a reboot? Where does a reboot stand for the fans at I home? mean, look, I've always said, I'm. you know, when the Beatles wanted to get back together, John was always like, hey, let me know when the rehearsal is. And Paul was always like, no, uh, we can't do that. So I've always said I'm the John Lennon of the Drake and Josh reunion. You know, so if you tell JP, let's do it. Now, you and JP, you and Josh Peck are still really good friends to this oh, yeah. day. Um, a question that I didn't get to ask you yesterday, but I do want to ask you now because I think it is so uh, relatable and I think it's such great advice for anyone in a friendship or a relationship of any kind is that there was a big to do on social media last year where Josh got married, of course. Mm -hmm. You were not at the service. You were not no. at the ceremony, I should say. Nope. How, but you guys are on good terms now. So how did you guys get past that? Do you have any advice? Dude, like, we're when you're brothers, man. In real life, like honestly, we've known each other for tw I mean, well, 20 years. I'm, I'm got to be about 19, 20 years. And you know, we've all we've had our ups and downs. It's like same with my my own brothers. I mean, we've had like, you know, times where I want to throw my brother through the wall, and other times where I want to grab and be like, dude, you're the best friend. You're my best friend. You know, and I love you to death. And, and I think for Josh, you know, Josh was an only child, so I think we were really, I think I was like really the closest thing that he would ever have to a brother, and we yeah. were really close. I mean, we, there were times when we didn't want to talk to each other unless it was the dialogue, you know, and, oh, I can't stand him. And then there was times where we're inseparable, where it's like, hey, what are you doing after work, after a 16-hour day? Oh, uh, nothing. Oh, come cruise over. We'll play, I got this new playstation game you know and we'd stay up all night and play video games i crash on his couch and like oh we got to go to work the next day and we're like literally inseparable you know so it's just it, it's just brotherly love man and when uh, i saw him at the vmas and he threw his arm around me he's like you know and he we we you know we hashed it out and he was telling me he's like man no our feelings like look look I didn't, first i didn't think you want to go second i like it's like, do you know what planning a wedding is? He's like, my wife is doing this. We're trying to do this. He's like, I don't know what's going on, man. He's like, I just wanted to get it over with and do it, you know. And so he's like, no, I feel like I love you, man. I'm, you know, you're my bro. So it's, uh, you know, it's all water under the bridge. Mm -hmm.